This After Effects tutorial is made possible by Motion Bear. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very cool looking kind of a liquid typography animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Now this tutorial is inspired from one of the video hive templates with the name Seamless Loop Kinetic Posters. The link will be in the description below so you can check it out. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this text here as this is going to be our text placeholder. Let's go with 1920 and height of 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. So here we have our text composition. I'm going to select the text tool and let's type in a text. I'm using the monumental extended font. You are free to use any font that you like. So I'm going to duplicate this, hit control D, put this below. So there we have our text. I'm going to select the third one and switch this to stroke. So we get a very, you know, cool look. Also, it looks a bit more different. Maybe I'll increase this size a bit. And then you can just play around to add a very nice simple design to your typography so yeah that looks good you can also align this properly and by the way you can find this align tab under windows align so this is going to be our text let's create one more composition which is going to be our text animator so let's call this text animator for the height this time i'm going to go with 1920 so we have a width and height of 1920 by 1920 hit okay let's drag and drop in the text your composition that we have then go into effects and preset and add an effect called cc reptile just double click so now we can increase the expand down just like that and then increase the expand up just like that now let's set the down to 1920 and height to 1920 as well so hit ctrl c ctrl v and now we can basically you know animate this just like that so let's say i'll start from right over here all right hit p create a keyframe on the position go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's pull this down just like that all right so we have a pretty nice and simple animation okay that looks good now let's now we need to create two different scene for our animation so let's go ahead and create a new composition call this text scene underscore o1 and i'm gonna hit okay let's drag and drop in the text animator just like that let's add a fill to it so we can add a different color to this let's add a fill you can go with any color that you like i'm gonna go with kind of a neonish green color then go into effects and preset and add this effect called turbulent displays which is a very cool effect you can create some very amazing things using this so let's increase the size all the way up to 420 or something like that and basically it's gonna help us to get this really cool swirly wavy kind of an effect which looks pretty cool. So this is a text scene one. Let's create a duplicate of this. So hit control D. So now we have text scene two. Let's double click to open that up. Let's change the color to white. And we don't need turbulence displays on this. I'm going to click on delete. We will be using an effect called time display. Oh, displacement map. 
all right now we need to create a map to displace our animation so i'm going to try to achieve a kind of a flag waving kind of an effect so to do that we first need to create a map for that to drive the animation so let's create a new composition with 1920 by 1920 call this wave map maybe hit ok hit ctrl y call this bg for background and let's add a let's actually delete this all right now let's select the rectangular tool make sure the fill is set to white and we don't have any strokes low so let's double click then go into rectangle one rectangle path one unlink this and let's bring down the size to around maybe let's go to 500 going to transform rectangle and skew this up a bit just like so maybe let's go with 20 okay now i'm going to go ahead and add a repeater to this let's increase the copy to around 12 and then go into transform repeater one and let's play around with the position so move them a bit far just like that and basically i'm going to try to animate this just like that Okay, so let's select the layer, hit P to bring down the position, create a keyframe, go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's drag this just like so. So we have a very nice and simple movement, maybe a bit more. Okay, so that is what I am going for. Let's create a new adjustment layer called this blur and i'll call this shape so on the blur adjustment layer let's go into effects and preset and type in box blur there we go let's double click to apply that up increase the blur amount somewhere around 250 should work and repeat edge pixels so we get this nice displacement as you can see so now let's use this map as a displacement map now before we proceed further with this tutorial i want to tell you guys about our sponsor motion bear they have launched a new trendy transitions and titles pack for premiere pro it has amazing features like support for all resolutions up to 4k super fast renders sound effects are included easy to use drag and drop method and a lot more To know more about them, check out the link in the description below. So I'll go back into the text scene 2, drag and drop in the wave map. Let's hide that, go into text animator and in the displacement map layer, I'm going to select the wave map. So now you don't see anything because we need to displace them. So let's set this to 50 and max vertical displacement to minus 50. And now you should see we get this cool waving effect. But you know we get the effect but we don't have any depth into the animation. And because of that it's a bit difficult to see. So what we can do is we can duplicate this at control D. Put this on the top. Let's turn this on. And then hit F4 to reveal the transform mode properties and let's set this to multiply and also I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to add a background so hit ctrl y call this bg for background put this at the back and we don't see anything because we need to add an effect called invert on this and there we go so you can see now we have a bit more depth into the animation but we don't need uh, it to be so dark so we can hit t and bring down the opacity so i like to set it at 50 and so it gives a nice subtle look um yeah that is actually looking very nice as you can see okay so our scene one and scene two is ready let's go ahead and create our final composition so let's call this main comp let's bring down the height to 1080 so we have a 1920 to 1080 composition hit ok and then i'm going to drag and drop in both the text scene 1 and the text scene 2 so now you can see we have something like this which looks pretty weird at the moment because we also need to add a background on the text scene 1 so i can basically 
copy the background from here hit ctrl c and paste it right over here hit ctrl v all right so let's go back into the main comp i'll drag this over here now i'm gonna first work with the text scene one now to add a nice blobby lies effect to this we also need to create a map different map for this so to do that i'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition let's make this 1920 by 1920 again all right and let's set this to shape let's call this shape gradient actually all right hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg go into effects and preset and type in a ramp so we have a gradient ramp on this set this to radial ramp and set the start ramp property to 960 by 960 so we have something like that let's swap the colors and there we go now let's create one more composition called this um let's call this circle map all right hit okay drag and drop in the shape gradient that we have so now we need to animate the shape gradient so i'm going to use an effect again that we used before that is the cc reptile let's set the expand down to around 5000 and now we can basically you know animate this i think it should be expand up so expand up to 5000 and then we can basically animate this right so select the layer hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go to 10 seconds and let's bring this down so one two and three okay we need to maybe expand this a bit more so that covers this up there we go let's try to place it in the proper position okay perfect so we have something like this pretty simple now let's go back into our main composition and drag and drop in the circle map that we just created let's turn that off select the text scene one go into effects and preset and use a very cool effect called cc blobilize and now i can go into the blobbiness set this to the circle map and right off the pad you can see we get this really cool effect let's increase the softness really high you know something like that and um, let's increase the cutaway as well so I'll keep it somewhere around 60 should work good and for the softness i'll go with 200 perfect and now you can see we get this really cool effect so let's actually select the text scene too and i can actually copy this effect so it control c Control V, go into the blobbiness, set this to none because we need to create a different map for this. So to do that, I'll go right here in the circle map, hit Control D to duplicate it, open that up. So we need to also duplicate the shape gradient. So I'll select the shape gradient right over here, hit Control D to duplicate it and hold Alt and replace this. So we have the shape gradient too. And all I need to do is add an effect called invert to invert that up let's go back into the main comp drag and drop in the circle map to hide that select the text scene to and let's set this to circle map 2 and now you can see we get this really weird effect so set the cutaway to 40 and now if i preview this you can see it feels like the circle is interacting with our text and as you can see it looks super cool and it's so simple now you can definitely add some chromatic aberration and stuff to increase the complete look of this thing i like to personally use a plugin that is called simple chromatic aberration something like that let's actually i'll just pretty quickly show it to you so i'll call this c a for chromatic aberration Oh, that was plug from plugin and everything. That is a quick chromatic aberration. And you can, you know, adjust the position and stuff. I like to keep it at around one. And it's a very subtle effect. As you can see, you can go really wild with this. But let's go with actually two. And you can also change the channels from red, blue to red, green or green, blue. But this works for me. And as you can see, it adds a little bit of 
cool look to the complete scene so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out